Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diddy on behalf of StarCast TV. Upper right hand corner, we have Musapa, aka Mini, says on the replay, although the replays have been mislabeled before. As the yellow Protoss, bottom left hand corner, we have Soma starting as the white Zerg. This is going to be on Eclipse and should be an exciting one. Soma, a very, very, I think in most people's estimations, like Soma and Queen are out there as the top Zerg. Uh, with Hero in that mix with ASL uh, shenanigans. Hero keeps going very, very deep. His macro is just absolutely phenomenal. His, his macro and army control is phenomenal. Anyway, Soma, I feel like, is the king of defensive Zerg. He has been having trouble lately versus Protoss, as far as I can tell. It feels like his he's had trouble deciding whether he wants to go for... He, he, he seems to want to play a 973 variation that I've seen recently, where he goes for 973, but doesn't want to bust. He just wants to inflict damage with the 973 for, and then transition back to full macro. And he hasn't really got himself in a comfortable position to do so. So where previously in the meta, he was very, very strong versus Protoss overall. Recently, he has not been, um, because I still feel like he's feeling it out, has not been as strong uh, as previous showings. We'll see if he's fixed that in this match here. Going for a spawning pool first, which is pretty typical on Eclipse because you don't want to have to deal with that annoying probe harass early, denying that hatchery and just getting being of general frustration, particularly at this level of play. We are going to see a gateway first opener on a mini side of the map. So after a few initial zealots and some incursions, probably going to want to draw back, particularly if a lot of zerglings are fielded. One of these days I want to see a gas deal. I know it's not worth it and I don't know that there's really a, a build out of it but it would still be fun. still be fun mini still going for the damage on that drone on that southern pile that's actually going to interrupt at least one mineral turn and a little bit else but we are going to see a full complement of zerglings being constructed right off the bat no gas take as of yet natural expansion has been dropped the drone missed the opportunity to go ahead and create some disruption a single zergling being peeled off the rest of the five making their way towards the front they still haven't gotten a spot as to whether this was going to be a nexus build or not the initial zealot actually holding the ramp currently so wants to try to deny information forge being dropped along that corner so it looks like they're just going to go ahead we got a probe blockading that will be replaced by that first zealot no attempts sometimes you'll see protoss players even against the nine pool peel off a single zealot to still try to harass and create some disruption out in the field. It looks like that drone going to make its way up, take that nine o'clock base. Forge being built after this, and it looks like a hatchery being, or a hatchery, a nexus being dropped there from mini at the natural expansion. After those initial two zealots, Zergling's doing what they can for free. Ooh, able to get surround on that zealot. So one zealot down, and now it's going to be kind of a dance around. The Zergling's able to slip through, trying to make their way into the main, going to be able to get a surround on that probe, so the ramp now open. Nice play by Soma, breaking into the main. Gas being grabbed. I'm not sure if Zerglings along the southern edge of that assimilator can force a cancellation or not, but so now we've got Zerglings that are gonna be very, very frustrating. The Zealot trying to do what it can. One probe down, two probes down. Nice play from Soma overall. We have the probe actually making its way all the way back into the main opposite side the zergling looks like one zergling actually leaving interesting went all the way back out went all the way in and is going to go home to tell the tale i guess and overlord just sitting here over that natural expansion still no cannon dropped at the natural and the next is still warping its way in but a good amount of harassment and problems now cybernetic score warping in absolute headache for many to start nine o'clock base just finishing by the way so that's going to be three bases up between everything else, but a pretty good start from Soma overall. Forcing Zealots out of position, able to get the scouting information he was really looking for. I'll see if he just keeps this Zergling running around. Hydralist end, so we are, yeah, this has been his preferred opening overall. And granted, right now, Mini has very little information to know whether, what's coming. First full 10 cannon being built that Overlord needs to start drawing back. We'll see if Soma recognizes and has the opportunity to do so now my question is is with that initial zergling disruption does he go okay now that overlord backing off plus some weapons being upgraded does he go for the bust or not sees this the stargate being built has that stargate timing or is he just sit back and roll 
with what he's accomplished thus far. Looks like he is starting to drop some drones. So still going with the Hydralis upgrades, but also droning in between behind it. And this is where I see differences in Soma's play versus a lot of other Zerg where, so he's still got three hatch Hydra, but oftentimes at this stage is when you they start uh, just building a lot of Hydralis to start taxing that front door right now, instead opting for a little bit early dronage. Dronage, is that even a word? A couple Hydralisks moving out. And let's see how many, this is again, We'll see how many Hydralisks he actually dedicates to the front. We see them moving out. I don't know whether this is going to be a bust or not. We do have the four right here. Actually, maybe he was just droning to the 973 number. He's got six of the natural expansion. Zealots moving out, clearing out the Zerglings in between. Grant, keep in mind those Zealots were not touched, and the Hydralisks actually taking some free damage as they're grouping up. Two more cannons being dropped. And again, depending on number, that should be sufficient. A single Zealot was able to slip to the bottom right-hand corner. The Zerglings found it somehow able to get three kills definitely going to stop that plus one weapons and i'm almost wondering if this is like part of soma's new game plan overall is actually just field enough hydralis to make sure that you take down that forge get an earlier evolution chamber play from there stepping in able to get one cannon down third cannon warping in you can see i, I don't know if this is mini knowing that soma doesn't like going for the full busts or not but he's only dedicating a third cannon rather than a fourth and a fifth. He does have a hidden gateway back here as well. Double forge. And Zealot Lake Speed being constructed otherwise. Single Corsair annoying those overlords to the front. We do see that fourth hatchery now being dropped from Soma. I'm expecting a, a fifth overall. No evolution chamber. So just now a stack and a contain of Hydralisks at the front. And I'm... And this is where I never know with Soma. With other players, it's sometimes a bust. With him, sometimes not. The Zealots, looks like we've got seven on the front, sitting on that shield battery. He has at least managed to create some taxation. Hydro stepping forward. And I haven't seen an increase in drones past that 21 count, so it's just been Hydralisks taking the front. So now we got four hatcheries. This also might be a very, and we are seeing a tech to layer behind this, maybe to transition into some version of Lurker Contain. Fifth hatchery now at the nine o'clock location. This is, yeah, typical stuff from someone now starting to redrone. I need to start getting the timings on this of when he's doing all this, uh, in particular for Soma. And I'm wondering if other people are going to try to play off what Soma eventually figures out. Evolution Chamber. There in the front, Corsair now checking that 9 o'clock, seeing that additional hatchery. The Hydro is backing off momentarily. As Lair Tech finishes, we'll see if we see an immediate upgrade to Lurker Tech as well. Zealot actually, from that bottom right, able to make it back to that natural expansion. No tech to Lurker, so it looks like it's just going to be 5 hatch Hydralisk. And a Spire as well, maybe recognizing the lack of Corsair out on the field. We do have a good, healthy amount of gateways at four behind this. The Templar Archives dropping as well. Double upgrades rolling as well for many. And Zealots marching out to create some havoc. Looks like the Hydralis is not able to mirror them. And this is where Soma's had a lot of trouble with this build, is knowing it is he loses position of these lurkers, underproduces at particular points, doesn't have the sustainable troops to deal with the Zealot harassment oftentimes. So plugged up there at the natural expansion, Looks like he's got a sunken colony and a good amount of Hydralisks at the 9 o'clock. This looks like a sufficient defense, but he no longer has map controls. The Zealots marching across the field. So in theory, many, if he wants to, might be able to go ahead and march out and grab an additional base, and it looks like he is, in fact, opting to. And this is, yeah, where I've seen it fall apart for Soma before. Let's see if he's got some more adjustments and tricks on this. Lurker Tech being more, of Corsair, checking out the drone saturation overall. Also looking to see if there's any additional overlords to pick off. Corsair gets picked off. Might have seen that Spire in the midst of everything. The Zealots now crashing down at the natural expansion. Hydralis backing up. Nice surround on that Sutton colony from those Zealots. The drone's getting a pretty good drill, though, so might be able to preserve it. No, that's gone. Now are they going to... No, just going to go ahead and back out. As Hydralis were trying to move down from that 9 o'clock location to engage the Zealots from both locations. And instead, it looks like yeah, they're going to be able to get some damage and clear a couple of those Zealots out, but not able to get a lot else. Do we see additional Corsairs being built? No additional Corsairs being built in the background. 
but at the same time, I don't see a huge mutilisk flood to really exploit the lack of air on Minnie's part either. So it could be that Minnie thought, well, okay, I've been spotted. Let me not go for a mutilisk flood. We have, it looks like he's got a dark archon actually and some side storm waiting just in case there were some mutilisks out in the field. Another hatchery being dropped in that nine o'clock base and gas being grabbed, but Minnie has broken out in most Zerg tactics these days, it, or like honestly since ad nauseum, where it's basically like keep Protoss to two bases. With so much style of play and how it all unfolds, yeah, more often than not, it feels like he has to automatically seed this third base, and then it turns into more of a macro match from there, and he hasn't, I don't know where the, the transition point is, but he, he hasn't had a lot of success from here. He does have an evolution chamber down, looks like going for plus one weapons. This is still going to be behind as plus one weapons already finished and plus two on the way. So these zealots and ground army otherwise going to be in a great position. And the other thing was, is Mini was able to establish this base on four gateways alone, dropping that robotics facility now and is nice side storm. Ooh, probe transfer though. This could be a big risk. So loses a probe or two, but not a lot else. This is still a containable situation, however, for Soma. Because these bases are very, very close in proximity. He's got at least a lurker there. That nine o'clock base is coming online. Let's see if he grabs that gas and continues play from there. We got three evolution chamber play as well as the queen's nest. So this is going to be a push towards having a more efficient ground army through the long term. Robotics facility up, first observer starting to be constructed. Supply is in Soma's favor overall. Which is scary. And Mini's dr or probe count, not the greatest. So maybe this is actually playing out for Soma as, wow, Soma actually able to... So despite grabbing this third base, Soma having that nine o'clock has now four saturated bases and is at a very, very healthy 68 worker count. And that is very, very scary for any Protoss to face. This is as the first observer is starting to take the field. We've got some Dragoons as well to maybe deal with some follow-up lurkers. But really, yeah, Soma, rather than going for the contain, going for that economic edge in the late game, he does not have the upgrade edge, however. is still working on that plus one carapace and additional spines. In the meantime, Mini opening up his front door. Keep in mind, a lot of the, uh, as well, a lot of this supply is in drone, so the army count is still overall in Mini's favor if he decides to engage this. So he's got a larger army, and for the moment, a slight upgrade lead with that plus one armor. And that should hold overall. My guess is, is we're going to see a, a momentary wait for the additional upgrades to finish and have a little bit more of a supply surge. And then we're going to see... Maybe Mini actually going to move out just before that. And then we're going to see some movement out on the map. This, But now Soma doing what Soma does, trying to create a defensive operation and, it, and also expanding to the bottom right. So maybe looking to have a situation where if he's got the hive, let's see if he drops a Nidus Canal at a location as well. And just tries to have a large enough army where if Mini overcommits to any location, he just swarms and overwhelms. Still has that worker lead. Is actually ahead in supply overall. Is plugging up the gaps with lurkers. And has a nice spread on them already. So if the High Templar move into those gaps and drop size from, they're only going to be expending them on a single lurker overall. The observer count now healthy. The observer speed not quite there yet. Nor do I believe that the, uh, is it APL range or whatever it's called? The observer site upgrade, I, I doubt it's there as well. Single Zealot starting to make its way out. He's going to find that base developing in that bottom right hand corner. And this is exactly where I believe someone wants to engage. Is go ahead and, ooh, nice Maelstrom and a beautiful Psystorm. Storm. Love that one-two combo. Honestly, underutilized overall. Another great Maelstrom. Keep in mind, Maelstrom doesn't catch the Lurkers while they're burrowed. So this isn't emer emergency mode from Soma yet. He's just backing up a little bit on that corner, leaving the Lurkers. And yeah, Mini doesn't like what he sees. Trying to push up that ramp. So gonna back off. Two Zealots blockading that upper left. In the meantime, 11 o'clock Nessus is going to warp in. And now we're going to turn into an overall macro 
War, where Soma actually, I think, has the edge. He's got the bottom right. Let's see if he grabs the gas there as well. He's still got the triple evolution chamber to work with. Working on getting consumed to get some defilers in that field. Many pushing up once again towards that 9 o'clock. We still have some additional something colonies. But the lurker lines have been obliterated by these dragoons. A flood of white moving up the map to try to push this fight back. But it looks like Mini breaking through, preserving the Psy Storms. He's got a massive amount of Psy Storm to follow this up. And he's really thinning the reinforcements, but still going to go ahead and back up for some bunching. Actually, after that immediate backup, he could go ahead and re-engage. He still has enough of an army to do so. I don't think he realizes this. A lot of troops being refilled in by Soma. But Mini actually backing out. That's unfortunate. Because honestly, he probably could have taken out that last something colony and wiped out what's left. More he, now Soma rebuilding, pushing up, looking to do a bit of a counterattack. A lot of his troops bunched and recognizing that there's still some Psy Storm remaining. Maybe that is the issue. He just didn't feel he had enough Psy Storm to remain relevant. High Temple getting caught as it was trying to reinforce to that 11 o'clock position. Drone getting chased off bottom right as well. And a Defiler actually in forward field misrallied and getting wiped out there as well. So main somewhat thin here for many is natural expansion still has a decent amount of resources, but is going to look light in not too long. Supply lead overall for Soma. And those upgrades continue to grow for him. It looks like plus one shields actually upgraded. And yeah, Mini needs to go ahead and push up and take out one of these bases to get that economic edge so he can, I don't know, go into the late game Reaver play. Defiler dropping that Dark Swarm to go ahead and negate the very heavy Dragoon count right there. Some reinforcements were moving up across that mid-range, but they're being engaged by some Zealots and some Psy Storms being halted right there. There are some additional Defilers here to push the rest of this army back. Plus three weapons now online for many. I think he really wants to try to push this plus three weapons advantage as much as he can, but man, there's a lot of Dark Swarm right there. And he's got mostly Dragoons left over. And Zerglings, particularly when they have that Adrenal upgrade, can shred a lot of these units regardless, and they're just very, very cheap. Bottom right hand base being grabbed that Zealot from much earlier in the match, still hanging out there. Troops making their way across that right hand lane. They need to shut that down ASAP, that Observer alongside. So now, Mini may be creating some distractionary attacks at that 9 o'clock. Rather than... Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to go bottom right. So now that Zealot pushing in. And it looks like it's going to be a two-prong. So we got an attack on multiple fronts. We've got an attack that looks like it might be successful. Archons and Zealots pushing in. A Psy Storm obliterating that. A bunch of white now moving to try to reinforce at this location. That is going to leave that 9 o'clock... Or I'm sorry, that 10 o'clock base potentially exposed. Zerglings flooding through that Nidus Canal. The Nidus Canal still up, no longer being focus fire. And it looks like Soma is going to, in fact, hold this location and looking for a counterattack, feeling no pressure at the 10 o'clock and having reinforced there. He's like, well, I might as well go up and wipe out a base. We also have the Lurkers that are going to deal with, I assume, these three Zealots at that bottom right. More reinforcements and High Templar are moving up, so at least that will be one base gone. But the Defilers and Lurkers moving up all the way, and it's just Dragoons and Cans to try to defend. So that Dark Swarm going to be massive. And what a swing. We're going to see Lurkers and Hydros now push in. Finally, two Zealots starting to join. More Zealots emerging. The attacks in the bottom right look like they have not been able to focus on that hatchery, trying to hold the ramp in reverse. Beautiful Psy Storm wiping out what's left. And it looks like the Zealots are going to be able to push through and wipe out what's left of those lurkers. But that's going to become less and less favorable trades again as those upgrades start equalizing down the line. That bottom right, however, looks like it's been punched through. I don't see any additional movements from Soma. To tr so it looks like he's just going to go ahead and sack this base. Not getting any trade, however, in additional expansions otherwise. Zerglings midfield. Going to be able to peel out a couple of those zealots and it's leaving mostly a dragoon army left and dragoon versus zealot usually or versus zergling i should say the zerglings 
can do pretty well, especially in open field. More lurkers trying to peel in, and it looks like Soma is, in fact, going to be able to get to the probe line now. Single lurker there, wiping them out. And shutting and really affecting a lot of mining here. That lurker going to get taken out otherwise. The reinforcements bottom right from many now going to engage. Wow, this is just constant attacks on both ends. Relentless on both sides. Soma supply indicates that it looks like many getting the better of these trades overall. High Templar bullying their way in, side storming the com everything. 12 kills on this Archon overall. Sheesh, and more Archons morphing to follow it up. And with that attack, honestly, I think things might have swung right back into Mini's favor. We'll have to see if that ends up holding. He's has a lower worker count overall, but he's really hurt Soma's economy. However, it looks like actually Mini's economy not that great either. Doesn't Not holding that large a bank. More Zealots marching in. Drones actually transferring. They're going to get obliterated by the Archon that's waiting for them. And we see another attack. It looks like finally Mini pressing in, forcing a couple of, as soon as some troops morphing in a back out there, a huge amount of reinforcements making bottom right, eating Psystorm as they engage. I think these are turning into great exchanges for Mini overall. Getting great value has taken out that hatchery bottom right. And so now as things restabilize, that 11 o'clock base is still mining, that 12 o'clock base is still mining, the natural expansion's gone. For many overall, but the main is gone. The natural expansion is basically gone. The bottom right's just been wiped out. So it's just that 10 o'clock and that 9 o'clock base, which is starting to look very thin. So Soma needs to make something happen. And right now, he keeps running into Mini, just Psy storming his army. And this is just as I think the upgrade's just now probably equalizing, or at least not too far off, unless the upgrades were skipped. It looks like maybe the final upgrades skipped by Soma. Level 3 weapons, level 3 armor right now, so upgrade advantage for many. An okay plague hits the Zealots primarily, and many not holding back the pressure. Dark Archon proceeding forward. Zealots that were earlier plagued now very, very fragile in the face of these Zerglings, but the Zerglings completely gone and more Psystorm being expended. A slew of lurkers dropping in an emergency now at the 10 o'clock. And Mini going to go ahead and pull out, but man, he's got a 70 supply lead. He's got the worker lead. He's two base versus two base, which usually puts Protoss ahead. And I think he's in a position where maybe if he wants to, he could maybe expand either top left or maybe, yeah, if he gets that lurker in there. Ooh, never mind, detection. I should say he takes care of that lurker, but the Dark Templar easily taken out. If he can wipe out something in those locations, maybe establish a base for himself. Get a robotics facility, uh... Get some Reavers out. More Plague dropped. Someone trying to press the issue. Nice feedback on that Defiler to prevent any further pressure. And Mini once again moving up to the 10 o'clock, this time with an 80 supply lead. And this is a very size stormable. Although I don't see any High Templar with looks like the High Templar in the far rear of that army where they should be. But if they can make their way all the way up, these Lurkers are very clumped right this second. Respread from Soma, a lot of Archons. Plague doesn't really do a lot to the Archons overall, and this Archon Ball is starting to get larger and larger. And the more sizable they get, the less the Dark Swarm uh, does. As splash damage, as the, the base main damage of Archons uh, gets displaced, and, but it turns into splash and does full damage splash, which is a good portion of the Archon damage. Level 3 Spines now online for Soma. Piled with a bunch of Lurkers. Does have that Zealot still holding top left. 70 Supply lead for Mini overall. Soma finding a single Archon stranded. Eating some Psy Storm for all of that effort, though. And if things play out where Soma just is continuing throwing his army and we see continual exchanges across what is just here... I still think Mini's going to end up being the victor overall. The supply counts have evened, with a lot of those Archons being wiped out. But it's still, now that base is mined out. So we got one base now versus two base mining Protoss. 
Lurker's still trying to push up. You hear those Lurkers dying on in mass, and that might have been the final overstep for Soma. As only Zerglings now flooding out. More Psy Storms dropping. And yeah, Soma GGing right there does not have the economy to keep up with Mini. Great play. Again, Soma having trouble versus Protoss. Was in positions there to have the advantage. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like and subscribe to StarCast TV. Appreciate all y'all. Thanks for listening.